Hi all, uh, here's Stefan Laub again from Cucumber.at and our new plugin Geotecture. I show you today how to make like a bridge construction out of very simple elements here, some cubes and tubes and planes, nothing more. And uh, spline, a few splines here, uh, copies of splines actually, all derived from one spline. So basically, uh, we have your uh, seat objects. Let me get a copy of the camera so we can zoom in. Oops, zoom in. So we have very simple pre-built elements here. This will be a railing. This will be a roof. This will be the floor. This will be the construction. And uh, as we use geotexture, with that basic things, we can make a nice curved, double curved uh, construction here. Uh, I have here several geotexture elements. So the thing is that I make, uh, uh, I break that into pieces. So every seed element has its own logic and its own generator. That's easier to handle. I have here, uh, Here you see the seed stuff. It's absolute normal C4D geometry. Here too. And we have here some, um, okay, actually they're also in here. We have here some sweeps that we will use for the scattering. A surface. And just let's start here with the first one. Uh, let's turn that on. That will be the floor. So I have here this sweep here. I'll show you the sweep again. I find it fast. That sweep here, when I turn that off and the sweep on, you see it was just a plane, which is basically just this line I have drawn. Just have drawn this spline here and put a rectangle or just another line here and made this simple sweep ob object. And this sweep object I drag and drop here in my uh, geotexture. And the floor actually, when I turn it on again, is just a few cubes. And they deform and fit perfect together automatically. So that's all done by Geotexture as it treats this geometry similar to a texture in the mapping space. As a next, we want to have railings here. I have made similar sweeps here on the sides. So that's not the right one that we had already. Are the extrudes, was it that? So. I had two extrudes surfaces. Again, it's just an offset from the original spline and extruded. But I want to have this in detail with my full construction, not just a plane. Normally, that would be quite some work. And we are geotexture. Let's turn the first one here. You see, I have a full. Uh, full construction here with all the details on one click yeah and let's turn the other side it's the same and you see how fast it generates all that that was not pre-calculated that's calculated live and I turn it on off it's just calculated on the fly through the multi-threading it uses all the cores of your PC or your computer works on Mac and PC and now we have a bridge. Let's uh, turn to see. We have a bridge with the railings. That's black because glass in Corona shows black in the editor. Sadly. Okay. Uh, the next one is the same principle. That's a construction here, a circular, in the section, in the cross section, and it's basically this cross here that, and we put that on a tube. And I think it's pretty cool, yeah. Oops.
Yep. So again, turn it on, off, goes very fast, the calculation. And then we have here something like a roof construction with lights and beams and structures and so on. And we add here some detail. And we're gonna render it, of course, so you see what happens. That's from the previous video. Um, and I do it here, and you see, I just used very simple materials. It's basically just chai and some concrete and some gray color and glass. And you see all, all the details, the point connectors of the glass, and everything is here with, uh, without any, any drawback. And it makes really fun to construct this stuff. So remember, that's all I modeled. Yeah, that's all the simple stuff, and I can make here this out of it. I hope you liked it. Uh, we will make more videos, as said, but this was, I think, also a nice example. Again, geotecture used the geometry seeds here, like a mapping, and builds complex shapes out of it. So it's not just on the surface, it's really three-dimensional stuff like this here. Okay, I wish you a nice evening, and thank you.